Geralt, I'd never wish to give the impression I do not enjoy your company. The truth is quite the opposite, in fact. However... Yeah, I know. Deadloff's not likely to show up as long as I'm here. But five minutes won't hurt, will it? I suppose not. I was wrong to press you to go. You wish to ask something? Been meaning to ask you. How'd you and Deadloff meet? Mm. Hmm. A somewhat uncomfortable subject. I'm all ears and I got time. As you well know, during my teething years I had a spell during which I abused blood. Among vampiric youth I was, all false modesty aside, rather popular. I ran with the plasma crowd. I made a great many acquaintances, one of whom was Detlaf. But our paths soon diverged. You see, our band had an appetite for chasing youthful capers. Blood-guzzling contests, that sort of thing. Let's turn into bats and terrify the ladies. Detlaf thought it all foolish. He was right, of course. Though I only came to understand this later. Sorry, just can't imagine you as a young vampire rabble-rouser, renegade, punk. You know of our exceedingly long lifespans. They allow us plenty of time to change. I, for one, thank the gods for that. Just wondering, what if Detloff doesn't show? He'll show. <sighs> Tell me, how's this work? When I need a short answer, concise, quick, you're likely to give me a scholarly lecture. But when I could use some details, elaboration, all I get is a few grunts. What's that about? Allow me to explain. When speaking of facts, tangible matters, I do indeed strive to express myself precisely and at length. However, when our discussions centre on affairs of the intuition or things vampiric, my utterances are indeed towards the taciturn. For even the longest discourse would not allow me to explain to my interlocutor any issue of this purview satisfactorily. Therefore, I repeat, Detlaf will show, sooner or later. Take care, Regis. 